simple maths question. Uh, say something about uh, compound interest. So let's just write down the compound interest formula straight from the formula book. And let's unpack it and just try and put the right numbers in the right place. Um, so I've got a 4,000 I'm investing. So I think that's the present value. And if that's going away from me, I'm going to put it as a negative. And 6.45%. Uh, compounded half yearly k equals two okay two interest payments per year um, it needs to grow to 10,000 so I've received back 10,000 okay and notice I've put the present value is negative 4,000 that really is when I'm using the finance solver when I'm using the compound interest formula everything's just normal numbers Okay, so I'll keep that as 4,000 present value, and it grows to 10,000 final value. And I'm asked to find the N here. Okay, so that's the only thing missing. So let's go ahead and substitute everything into the formula. For the 100k, I'm just going to times that. 100 times 2 is 200. And then also for the k times n, that's going to be k. 2 times by n. Well, n's what I'm trying to find, right? So this is going to be 2 times by n. Now look, can you see the variable I want to find is that n. Okay, now think carefully. In this formula, n equals the number of years. That's definitely what this n means here. Uh, when we look at the finance solver, we've got big N, which means a slightly different thing. Okay, so let's have a little look. Now, so I'm going to switch out to the calculator now, the CI Inspire. I'm going to go doc, insert a calculator. There we go. And now I'm just going to try and solve this equation. So menu, algebra, numerical solve. I need to solve this equation. 10,000 equals 4. Thousand times by open bracket one plus put a little fraction in here. Uh, this is six point four five divided by the two hundred, and then outside the bracket exponent, and that's two times by n, two times by n, and then arrow to the right, and then have to solve that comma n. So you have to say with respect to what variable and oof, it does it this time. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. It depends on just how big or small the numbers are. So n solved does work nicely here, and it's n equals to 14.43, okay? So that's 14.43 years because the n in the formula, in the compound interest formula, actually represents the number of years and that will be on your formula book, okay? So now let's switch out to a finance solver. We know what the correct answer is, 14.43 years, uh, but let's see how the financial solver sorts this out, okay? So, document. Oh, sorry, my bad, it's not document, it's escape. Uh, we're rolling the calculation page, so we just gotta go get the finance, menu, finance, finance solver, okay? So now here, this, this N here, big N, it's the number of payments. Okay, so big N actually equals number of payments. Notice it doesn't say the number of years, which this N on this side was definitely from the compound interest formula. Okay, uh, I is 6.45. Okay, look at this PV. So the present value is, well, I'm actually investing 4,000. So that's uh, just write it down here as well. Let me just keep a track of everything that I'm typing in. So N equals, we don't know, I equals 6.45, PV equals negative 4,000. Uh, this payment is if you're going to make some more regular savings every month or year, and we're not, this is just a one-off payment, okay? Uh, final value is how much comes back to us, and we want it to be 10,000. 
and then down here these two things can get a little bit confusing uh, but these PPY and CPY will keep them both as two uh, usually for all our purposes it'll be two if you're wondering what that is that's the uh, music in Santai Cafe it's got quite a good beat to it I think we're just turning it off um, okay so I think we've got everything in there and now we're going to go and solve for N to solve for N click in the box and press enter and notice this n now equals to 28.87. Okay, now think what n is though. n is the actual number of payments. Okay, so we have 28.87 payments. But did you notice we have actually two payments every year? So if we did 28.87 divided by the two payments per year, we get indeed 14.4. 14.44 years. So we've actually got the same answer, just doing it two different ways. Okay, so the key difference there, can you see? The key difference is that the N, the compound interest formula, is definitely the number of years. But the capital N on the finance solver is the number of payments. So this has to take account of the number of years times the number of payments per year.